Thank you so much for joining me either live or on the replay. Um, my name is Kelly and it's 2021. It's a brand new year of stamping and I'm so glad to have you with me today. So it's a Tuesday night. You could be watching live, like I said, or you could be watching the replay. If you're watching live, please, please, please just be easy on yourself because I'm going to be stamping quickly. I've designed these projects and I've made them a couple of times now. And uh, so I'm going to go faster. Plus, I've got some little sneaks and um, some things already done so that it moves it along even faster. So if it's stressing you out, just uh, work with what you're working with and then, you know, maybe skip the next project or, you know, come back to the video and replay it. Don't worry. You don't have to be stamping as quickly as I am. You probably won't be. So um, if you were, then I would think that you are truly amazing. So please be easy on yourself. Have fun and uh, please enjoy stamping along with me or even just a little crafting escape if you're just watching me without any craft supplies in front of you. So um, I've been a demonstrator now. This coming May, it's going to be 14 years. I can't even believe it. It's been a, a long run, but it's amazing. And I'm so happy to be connecting with more people than ever via this amazing resource that we have, the internet, right? And I can broadcast to you. You could be all over the world. I don't even know who's watching. So if you get a chance, please start um, typing in there. Say hi, write your name. I'm going to get the... Um, the feed going as well hopefully here so that I can see exactly you know what you guys are writing um, I will try to answer questions if I see them but honestly guys I'm just going to try and um, do it afterwards mostly is going to be the way that I can actually answer everything because it's all kind of a blur when you're live on the internet I gotta say so um my family is out for a walk. You guys know there's always something exciting happening with my family. Um, and they have strict instructions to be quiet when they come home so that they don't distract me. I say, for goodness sakes, guys, I do this once a month where it's really live and it's for an extended period. And the, the replay is available forever. <laughs> so I am... Um, I am so happy that you're joining me and let's hope that there's no craziness because there sure has been other times. And those of you who have been watching, you know, right? Like it's been kind of crazy sometimes. So anyways, I'm going to turn you down now, transition you down here and um, I'll show you our new catalog. So we've got our Big Mama catalog. This one is still current and you guys... Um, we'll just check it on the back here as well. I'll show you where to look. So till May 3rd. So we know that, you know, before the end of this catalog, though, um, there is a retired list that comes out and sometimes products start selling out before the end of the catalog. So get what you want right now. Be sure to get what you want right now in the next little while here. Because um, in April, that's when they're going to announce the retired list and then things will start selling out. We know that Thing, some things are going like the in colors, right? We've got one set of five in colors that will be continuing forward and then one set of five in colors that will be retiring and be replaced by another five. So we know that those are going to be going. Make sure you have your reinkers because you want to keep those ink pads lasting forever. Make sure you've got your matchy matchy cardstock because we want to keep using that forever, right? Um, so make sure that you're ordering things like that right now. But um, I'm using some things out of this catalog, but I'm mostly going to focus on our brand new catalogs. So that is our mini catalog, which is not mini at all. How many pages is it? 91 pages. This catalog is chock full of all kinds of really fun things. And I love the mini catalog. It just comes at the perfect time of year for me, um, right after the rush of Christmas and after I'm kind of Christmas out, then all these fresh colors come in with beautiful, you know, flowers and um, bright, bright things. I don't know. I just love, I love this catalog. It's my favorite of the year. And this one is like my favorite of all time. There's so many gorgeous things in this catalog. So we're going to play with a few this month and I've got a whole bunch more planned for, you know, the next six months of club. So also running this month and next, we have our celebration. And this is a special promotion where um, for every $60 increment that you purchase, you'll get to choose exclusive free product. So you'll notice that as you go here, it says free and all of these products are available for free um, with a $60 
purchase increment and then there's a couple at the end which are $120 purchase increments because those ones are more deluxe. They're like a two part or a really big stamp set. So I'll show you those as well. So um, many people ask, are these available for purchase? They're not available for purchase. They're only available for free from Stampin' Up! And this year is a little bit different. We're going to be doing two celebration offerings and they're going to be different. So we've got our first one here in our hot little hands. And this one is running um, from January and February. And then we've also got another round of celebration that's going to be happening in the summer. So July and August. And um, so you can kind of plan out the next few months. My favorite time of the year is when club um, sign up comes around and that's this month. So um, January and July are the start of my six month clubs. They are for six months, like I said. You just purchase, to, to, you commit to purchasing $35 minimum each month. And with that, you get your club cards free. So those are the cards that I'm showing you tonight or today, whenever you're watching this. And um, then you also get exclusive benefits as well. So um, I'll just show you at the back of this mini catalog here. We've got our host chart. And I'll bring that in close. There we go. So um, we've got uh, our hostess benefits starting at $200 minimum order. Now what club does is allows you to be basically on like a purchase plan. So instead of paying 200 or buying $200 all at once, if you want to commit to the $35 minimum, it works out to $200 over the six month period. 35, sorry, I think I said that wrong. $35 minimum each month equals $200 over the six month period. And that's going to give you a minimum $20 shopping spree starting at 10%. But you can see the rewards just go up and up and up. And you can even get a 50% off item. So if you have your eye on maybe a bundle that's a little bit more expensive and you want to get that, definitely Club is the way to go. Um, I'm still taking um, members. You can definitely join as well. Um, it's just, like I said, minimum $35 order each month. I know you guys can do that, even with adhesives, right? I also wanted to point out that we have a special offering during celebration. That's with a $375 party or more. Then you get this free punch party stamp set. And this one's really fun. It has a lot of stamps that coordinate with our punches, our new punches. But of course, those would be awesome on their own as well. So if you're planning on spending at least $375 over the six months, then this um, is a product that you're going to get for free from me as well. So right now I'm collecting them making sure that I have enough of them and then uh, you'll get them sometime during your six months of club. So be sure to let me know if you're planning on getting that set. If you plan on spending at least $375, I need to make sure that I have that for you, right? So if you want to join club, again, just let me know. You can drop in month to month, but it's not as good of a deal because um, you're not going to get the hostess benefits. And um, if you're paying the drop-in price, it's actually a little bit more as well. So if you have questions and you want to know a little bit more, please reach out to me. I would love to talk to you about my clubs. And this year's club is more popular than ever. So you can just tell people are in their homes and they want an activity. And this is such a great way of connecting safely and getting that crafting output. And um, the instructions are like this, video, online, and posted forever. So you don't have to worry about, you know, marking your calendar and being there on the third Monday and Tuesday of every month. You can actually watch the replay whenever you want. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Let's talk about celebration. Okay, so celebration, we've got quite a few products here. Let's do the first one here, Paper Bloom. This one, if you looked online a little while ago, it was kind of a, a strange thing that was happening, a strange little phenomenon. And that was that it was kind of showing these papers sort of translucent. They are not translucent. They're just designer series papers, like regular designer series paper. But they've got these fantabulous um, patterns here. I really like this one. I think this one's probably my favorite. And we've got the fun little avant-garde background. This one, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but it's got kind of a washed relief look. And then we've got beautiful flowers. 
some more flowers and stripes. Typically with our designer series paper, one side is heavily patterned and then the other side is a little bit um, more dense pattern or a little bit more graphic pattern. So this is the one of the first items that you can get here from this catalog. We've also got our Darling Donkeys stamp set. Now this one I haven't played with yet because I, it takes a really long time to get 200 projects prepped for my club members. So this one here, though I'm seeing samples on Pinterest and it's so cute when it's all colored. I know that you guys can make some really awesome, um, fun and cute cards with that one. I really like the fact, you know, if you guys like to um, make cards that are like kind of dirty, right? <laughs> <laughs> then it's perfect to have a donkey because, uh, yes, we can make our cards a little bit naughty if we want them, right? This is another set that you can get with a $60 order. This is called Approaching Perfection. It's got great sayings and um, also a couple little graphics as well. So those are really fun and cute. On this page here was my favorite um, until just the other day, actually. This one was my favorite. And this is a six by six inch paper stack. The other one's 12 by 12 inch, but square footage wise, you're getting the same amount of paper with both of them. This one's just a little bit more um, like a smaller format. So sometimes it's a little bit more convenient to store or to use. So we've got the Bermuda Bay, we've got Granny Apple Green, and it's called Oso oh Ombre because the ombre is when it's darker on one side going to lighter. So we can definitely get this look by using our brand new blending brushes which we're going to play with here tonight and many of you have ordered already but this is a really fun way of having the work already done for you right so we've also got rococo rose and blackberry bliss and the patterns are either just the plain which you can stamp onto and you know create all kinds of patterns and then a subtle little circle pattern in white so I really love this set. You get 48 sheets in there. They're six by six. This one's been really popular and it's actually not available on the Stampin' Up! website right now because they're currently reordering it. So don't panic. It's not gone forever. And um, I have a ton of this <laughs> because every demonstrated pre-order I can order um, celebration products. So when I ordered everything that I wanted out of the catalog, I got quite a few celebration products. So if you're interested in getting your hands on this right away, I definitely have one for you. No worries about that. This is another stamp set that you can get. There are no words in this, but it's beautiful graphic. And if you turn this one around, then you can get a really pretty card front. This one here, they've, they've done some coloring on there. Can you see that? That's really cute. Um, and then this one, you can't really see maybe here, but they've got it stamped there and then on the top corner as well. So make sure you take a look at those samples and on Pinterest because it's going to give you tons of ideas for, for how to use these new products. This next one here, Heal Your Heart, is what I'm calling an essential set. Um, this one is for the cards that you, you know, don't want to ever have to make, but that you really do have to make. So we're in this together. I can't promise to always fix your problems, but I can promise you won't ever face them alone. Sorry for your loss. I don't know what I could do without, would, sorry, I don't know what I would do without you. Um, thank you. And then this one here is my favorite, wishing I could heal your heart. Isn't that a beautiful set? So I know that many of you are going to choose that as your set. And I, I know that many of you are going to use that stamp set a lot, actually. This next one here is the Flower and Field Designer Series Paper. And this one, no camera or picture or digital is ever going to do it justice. This is like fluorescent, neon, um, like glow-in-the-dark, ultraviolet kind of colors but in like a very classy way I want to say that <laughs> not like not not tacky it's really beautiful and this is actually hand painted by the Stampin Up artist so you guys can see all the detail in there it's just a flat piece of paper but it definitely looks like it has a lot more texture and the back side of these are so vivid with their beautiful patterns I'm going to just take it really close to so that you can see all the patterns with this one this one, 
We've got those beautiful flowers. And I really love the polka dots on the back there. They're my favorite colors. Anything turquoise I really like. This one here is really pretty. See how they've added that extra blue color in there? It's not maybe showing up perfectly on the camera, but that is um, Pool Party, which is probably like my go-to favorite color of all time. I have other blues that kind of, you know, come in, flit in and out, but my Pool Party is was my wedding color, and it's also just my go-to fave. Isn't that fun? I just love this one. Okay. Um, now we're going into the free with $120 purchase. So these ones here are the Touch of Ink stamp set. And it honestly, it's shrunk down on the cover here. It does not do it justice. It is a two-step stamping set. Let's see what I can put this on here. It's a two-step stamping set and it comes with the outlines and then the abstract um, stamps to color them in. You've also got some great sayings on here that are really beautiful size too. So you've got some best wishes and thanks and hello friend and thinking of you. All of the essentials that you always need when you're stamping, right? Hummingbird, leaves, flower, butterfly, everything one set. Okay, this next one here is definitely um, my new favorite. It's one that we're going to be playing with later and I'm going to take you through the paper at that time. But we've got this beautiful stamp set which includes two-step stamping as well and it's called Berry Blessings. So that's it there. You've got some sayings wishing you the very best. So I love punny ones like that. But also you always have a way of making my day which is just a perfect saying. Now this is $120 per, free with $120 purchase, and you get the two items. There's no way of getting this Design and Series paper on its own. You can't purchase these, and there's no way of getting the Berry Blessings stamp set on their own. But in the catalog, which I will show you um, in a minute here when we, well, it's in quite a few minutes. It's the last project that we're doing. There's a, a coordinating suite with a punch and another stamp set that goes along with this. So what you could do is purchase that stamp and... Um, sorry, punch and stamp set and a few other items and then you could redeem for getting this one for free and have a beautiful coordinating set. So also in this catalog, I mentioned hosting a party. You have this free punch party that you can get with a minimum $375 order or party if you would like to host something. Let me know. I'd be happy to do something with your friends online. And um, then we also have a join offer. There's a typo here. It says you get an assortment of six six by six inch paper stacks. And this is the paper here that you can see. It's so beautiful. This is the only way you can get it. But it's actually five paper stacks. So I think what they were doing is before they were talking about having the in colors being two, like broken up into two stacks. But um, they're just as one stack. Okay, you guys want to see what just arrived at my doorstep? Everything was late today. I got an order at six o'clock as well. So thank you for everyone for your patience. If you know you're waiting for some products from me, um, I will definitely have those sorted tonight. All right, this is our brand new kit. And I wanted to show you the cards because I made these actually. As my husband was making dinner, I said, honey, I have to work. <laughs> <laughs> that was tricky, wasn't it? <laughs> so these are the cards here, and I don't know if you can see, there's these epoxy hearts there that are all shiny. We've got some embossing that's already on there. I stamped this, this heart here, and the U, tied a ribbon, put all the pieces together, put on some of these dots, and done in a second. I just love these cards. The other style of card in this kit is this one here, Sending Love Your Way, which is so cute. I stamped the saying, stamped these little pieces coming out here, and then put one of those dots, or um, they call them dots, but they're hearts, and, and then put all the pieces together. So the colors here, just to give you a bit of bearing, are Poppy Parade and um, Petal Pink, I think, there. And let me show you what all is included in this kit. So this is our Paper Pumpkin monthly subscription service. We don't know what's coming until it arrives on our doorsteps. And so this is called 
sending hearts and you get eight cards and eight envelopes in this kit. Again, you can see there's four of each of the two designs and you also get an exclusive stamp set. So this one you can see, I've already used it a little bit. I didn't even clean it off. But you've got a love that's a little bit smaller than the one in the catalog. You've got a snail with the heart back, which is adorable. That one goes with one of the cards that we're going to be making here tonight as well. And then this big heart here, you can see I stamped there. So a great stamp set, really versatile. We've got our Poppy Parade ink spot which is, um, an, again, another versatile color. And then they've given us a whole spool of this beautiful black satin ribbon. I want to add a little bit of a note here too. The Little Love Boxes is an add-on kit for $11 Canadian. That's before shipping and handling and, and tax. And you can actually get these little boxes, which are all ready cut and pre-scored, so you just fold them and then little tags and these adorable little snails that are already pre-colored and you can put them together to make some really beautiful projects. Sorry, getting a bit of glare there. There we go. So you can make some really cute projects like this. So if you want some of these, they are um, needing to be ordered by a Paper Pumpkin subscriber. And guess what? That's me. I get quite a few Paper Pumpkins each month. This is one of five kits. I always keep one for myself and then I sell the other one. So if you want to get your hands on one of these kits, be it the full one to make eight of these cards, you can do that. That one, including the stamps and the ink spot, so just like this, is $30. That includes shipping and handling and tax if you pick up from my house. If you want it shipped to you anywhere across Canada, we can do that for extra. Um, if you want to refill, those ones might be available, I hope so, later this month. They're $15 including shipping and handling and tax. And if you want one of those add-ons, which includes those cute little boxes, there's 20 boxes in the kit, um, then uh, just let me know those are... Gosh, they're not a nice number. I think they work out to like 1272 or something like that. I also wanted to note, it, note that I've got some more paper pumpkin kits here. Lovely Day, which I have a full kit of or refills. Again, full kits are $30, refills are $15. And My Wonderful Family. And these ones, again, full kit and refills. All right, talking more. If you have picked up your projects from my house or, you know, maybe I sent them in the mail to you, you might have received a few things for free. So I wanted to talk about those. First of all, if you've joined my club, I wanted to give you a gift. So I've given you the Perennial Essence Floral Centers, and these are really fun um, to add on to any project, but specifically I like them on flowers. They have adhesive dots already on them, and you can see how fuzzy they are. They're so fun. So you can just pop them onto the center of a flower. They really add a lot of dimension. So um, this is your gift from me for joining my club. Thank you so much. I also have another gift included in some of your packets. If you've decided to join my card swap, that's a part of card club, then um, you're committing to make 11 cards each month and then we'll get them to me and then I'll distribute them among the members and we'll each um, receive some new ideas. So this was one of my ideas was to use this Magnolia Lane large specialty memories and more cards and envelopes and this is going to be the basis of your projects for our swaps in March. So if you've received these from me that means I have you down with swapping and make sure to use these for your March swap. If you are using the Perennial Essence Floral Centers in addition to those all on the same project then you get bonus points. The bonus points are worth nothing but you know what you can have bragging rights right? There's also a gift in some of your bags, and that was if you um, spent $120 or more this month, you got to choose whether you wanted the Real Red Glimmer Paper, and this is not going to do it justice with the package. I did have some here last night, but I don't know where my pieces are now. Um, but this is beautiful glimmer paper in the Real Red color, or you can... Um, choose the Blushing Bride and a Heart 
epoxy droplets. These ones um, might not look like very much, but they are so versatile. Color them with Stampin' Blends and you can turn them into whatever color that you want and you can pop them onto your projects. So I hope you enjoy that gift from me if you're spending um, $120 or more. I don't have the comments running here yet, you guys. Let's see, my, my tablet wasn't popping up and saying, hey, you've gone live. So let's see, but I want to show you something else. Take a look at this cute little lunch bag. And can you, do you guys know what's in here? You can tell by this little handle sticking out. This is a lunch bag that's available as a supply item from the demonstrator website. And inside it fits perfectly our new mini boss. Look at it, it's so cute. It's like the perfect little baby companion to our big cut and boss machine. So we call these the big boss and the mini boss. Um, we've got, again, the same opening size in terms of height. And so you can still use the same sorts of project products in it. So meaning you can put through embossing folders or um, um, dies that are smaller. But you can see here, it's a big size difference in terms of lugging it around. So if you, you know, have a cabin that you go to, or if you're camping, or, you know, if you're, um, you know, uh, doing all kinds of things, right? Like if you're stamping on the go, if you have um, crops that you go to, right? That that would be great for just bringing that along. Okay, let me just, I gotta stop talking and doing this at the same time. Stamping with Kelly. Okay, let's see. Better be going live. So um, when you purchase this, it's just $80. You get all of the same plates as if you were purchasing the big ones. So that's really um, quite a benefit because you can use so many items from our catalogs in here. Let me show you. There's a little icon that shows you exactly which products can be used. So to say just this page here alone, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six of these sets that can be used with the baby boss and then you don't have to maybe invest in the biggest one right oh do i have this sound down get all of the same oh, 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 oh. quiet there we go there we go now i can actually see you guys see your comments here we go thank you michelle i'm so happy i see your name first and i know that you're watching um so i'm going to use this on a couple of projects or maybe one project here tonight this first one i really love that these new designs are really space saving um this deluxe model is honestly gorgeous it's got the metal embossed but this one is so light you could even take this in your luggage with no problem at all Okay, let's put this to the side and bring out our kit that we're using here uh, as well. So um, another paper pumpkin, this is last month's and I do have some of these on hand if you are interested in getting them. Um, this one here is bears and this is another one that I made during dinner. Paper pumpkin's all about like a little crafting escape. So they're always designed to take about half an hour from start to finish. Okay, we've got our stamp set, which includes this adorable bear, get well soon, you're on my mind, hooray, flowers, and then these fun little accents. And in this one, there's the rich Razzleberry stamp and spot. This one makes 12 cards in three different designs. You can see you get four of each of them and it includes envelopes too but I've actually made these so let me show you we've got gold embossed elements and his little hand here is cut already with the die cut so you can just slip his flowers underneath there you've got get well soon that you can use you can of course put whatever saying that you want on there as well and then we've got our cute little koalas too Aren't they adorable? Um, I wanted to play around, so I did. 
And you can even turn this adorable bear into a panda bear too. So I just use my Stampin' Blends. I'd recommend using the fine point of the Stampin' Blends marker. And I use the light basic black to color him in and had to Google what a panda looks like in terms of coloring. <laughs> and then this one here is the color lifter. So I just went over top of that just to lighten it up a little bit. And I thought that added a great technique there. Okay, let's see the project that you're making that goes along with these. So I always use um, paper pumpkin for one of my cards and I love to get your hands on it plus it's a great way of getting some images into your hands too these ones are already pre-colored and ready to go and this is these are the cards that you're going to be making if you picked up your projects from me from my house so we've got happy birthday isn't he cute I just love him and this is our ombre paper that's a celebration product um, it comes either in that plain design or, of course, um, the circles. And I really like these little koalas. You might have cupcakes, you might have presents, or you might have a heart. And then we've got some ribbon to go along there too. So let's put this one together. I'm going to just put these down here and then you can have an idea of whatever you're making um, is going to match up. Okay, so using our bone folder. This is our gray granite cardstock. Such a nice, beautiful, warm gray color. I really gravitate towards it more than anything. Okay, where is it? My stamp and seal. I spread dimensionals around my entire table, hoping that I wouldn't have to reach and lose any products. But um, sure enough, you know, I lose my stamp and seal then. So I'm going to put my ombre paper on. Oh, it looks like I'm going with the matchy matchy look. Blackberry Bliss. And that's just going to go on like this. Then I've got my adorable little stitched rectangle. And I'm just going to put a little bit top and bottom there so that I can fold my ribbon over. There we go. I can I can hear my family is home. So if you see see me getting a little bit uh, distracted, that's probably what's going on. If you're worried about um, your ribbon being kinked, you can you know use a little tiny bit of water, not very much, or you can just make sure to lay it flat, maybe with something on top of it or in a clear envelope overnight, and then. Um, it will go flat by the morning. I always store my cards in clear envelopes. So those are the clear envelopes that you'll get your, your card club um, pieces in. So every time when you're finished a card, then just pop it in the clear envelope. You can mail in these envelopes. It's great. It protects them really well against the elements. And it gives your post postal worker a little bit of an um, exciting day, right? <laughs> so you can just seal that up. Um, you can put a little bit of a sticker on there. You can write your address on the back, return address, or you can slip a paper in there, or you can even stick a little label on there. So there's many different ways, but don't throw out those clear envelopes. They're the best way to store your cards so that they don't get rumpled. So dimensionals on the back side there. Here we go. I've got my cute little koala, so I'm going with this horizontal. If you've got the bear there, you might want to put it a little bit more vertical. And now I'm using up every last bit of this piece of dimensional. Okay, so pop those on. Again, if you're crafting live with me and I'm going too fast for you, just breathe easy and enjoy yourself. Um, it's, this is not meant to be stressful at all. Just skip the project and then, you know, come back to it, whatever steps. Maybe you're even missing, maybe you're waiting for one of your um, products to come in your order so that you can do a technique. Just skip that part and come back to it. This replay is going to be available forever. So we don't have to stress. We just enjoy ourselves. Can you guys see that? I'm just slipping it into the little koala bear's hands. Now I've got 
birthday cutout here with some foil. This is gold foil and I wanted to show you because I'm using a, a product called our adhesive sheets. Now it's not covering the whole thing but take a look on the back and you can peel off there's a little sticky backing and probably a little piece will come off there to the um, the center of some of these swirly letters right and then you can actually just stick that on it turns whatever you have um, cut with our die cutting machine whether it be the big or the baby and it turns it into a sticker so you don't have to worry about using you know an adhesive like our liquid adhesives I would prefer the fine tip glue pen if I were you but um, you don't even need that with these adhesive sheets now I'm going to show you where I stamped this out of you might have the happy birthday all cut out here but I wanted to show you another way of doing this um, this is pre-cut it's stamped onto white cardstock or new basic white cardstock and then you can just trim off the excess I, I always punch it out when I'm doing this I punch it out so that it's at least straight on one side and then you know you can cut a little bit more easily the other side to be straight I hate when it's crooked I hate it too you know when you're doing your own bang haircut and you you start and you're going up 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 oh here we go right <laughs> like I'm gonna have little baby bangs after this so there we go we've got our happy birthday and like I said once you pop that into your card even if your ribbon is a little bit kinked that will straighten out in a jiffy so I hope you enjoy making that card now let me show you some of the products that we've used I want to show you this in person because these dies are amazing. These are the well written dies, and you get so many words, and they're all the cute swirlies like this. So, you might look at a set like this before you knew about the adhesive sheets and think, oh my gosh, this is going to be a nightmare. I don't want to glue that on. That's so finicky. That's horrible. And um, then we. Uh, have the adhesive sheets and then it's like a whole new world right now you just peel it off and there's a sticker so this is a really great set I use the happy and the birthday and I've mentioned the adhesive sheets a couple of times but I'll show you what they actually look like they come um, six inches by 12 inches so you just cut them down to whatever you need I've cut down little strips so I don't know if you can see that there I've got strips cut and I put them on there and that just helps me to save a little bit of adhesive and just make sure that it's covered a little bit on every one. And I've got the happy birthday. I've just put some washi tape on there to hold it in place. And now I'll show you how easy it is to cut with this fantastic new tool. So all of the instructions are on the different plates. Now for this one, we just need the die cutting plates which is the white one here now if you're like me you cut into one plate and then you always run the other plate as the top plate and that just helps with the etching that naturally happens whenever you're using die cutting so there we go we get it going come on baby let's go there we go and then you just crank it through I really like that with these machines they've left a little bit of a gap you can see here and here so even if you don't put the plate through perfectly straight it's not going to warp the edges of it so badly as we as what we had maybe you know with the the big shot back in the day okay i'll just put this one to the side now now the other tool that you're going to want if you're doing something like this is our die brush attachment that goes on to our take your pick tool so take your pick tool typically comes looking like this and there's another piece that um, goes on to it as well um, that is a scoring attachment but all you do is you just unscrew this part and then screw in this die brush and then you can use the die brush to quickly separate your paper from the dies and look at that easy peasy right and now we've got our beautiful cut happy birthday to put onto the project. And you can tell that's a really easy way to get a beautiful look 
It looks so dainty. It looks so fancy, doesn't it? So fancy. Okay, let's show you some other things. Okay, you might want to prepare yourself because um, what I'm about to tell you might make some people go crazy. But I'm going to tell you this right now. Stamps are tools, not jewels. I fell in love with the happy birthday from this set here. And it's actually shrunken down. Holy cow. That's some wind. Are you guys commenting about the wind? Is there a tornado? You guys are in the West End. I can see Sandy and Michelle. Yeah, you're both in the West End. So you, we just got the wind here now. What is it? 741. <laughs> so I've taken the happy birthday to my beautiful friend and I've cut this stamp so I could take just the happy birthday off. <gasps> are you are you gasping? Are you cringing? It's okay guys because now I can put it back together. It's actually crazy. Wow. Um, you can actually put it back together and use it as one full stamp or now I have a stamp that I can just use as happy birthday as well. Okay, we've got two different kinds of ribbon. Did you notice that? That's going to distract me. The kids are quiet, but the wind is loud, hey? <laughs> we've got two different kinds of ribbon that I used here. The Blackberry Bliss ribbon, or this is the Blushing Bride ribbon. And you can see the Blushing Bride ribbon actually has like a gold sparkle in it. And the Blackberry Bliss is kind of a sheer, but with stripes in it. Let me just quickly show you where to find all these things in our catalogs as you guys are kind of finishing up your projects here. So starting, let's start with our celebration. So for free, you could get that Oso Ombre paper that looks fantastic with those little bears in every color, right? That's free with a $60 order. Then from this page here, on page 11, the uh, five. Blushing Bride Metallic Ribbon is what I used on some of the cards here. And then we also, that must mean the cold weather's coming, right? The Friends Are Like Seashells. That's the one that I cut. <laughs> this one here, I cut. And then we've got the Blackberry Bliss Striped Ribbon was another option that you might have received. If you purchase more than one card club kit from me each month, I make sure that you got the two different options whenever I do them. And then of course we've got our paper pumpkin, which you can purchase in a one month, three, six, or 12 month subscription. And these subscriptions count towards clubs. So I want to mention, you can go month to month. That to me is a good option, but it's not the best option. When you purchase a prepaid subscription, then you can count it towards club and getting your projects for free. Also counting towards hostess benefits and celebration free products. So for me, it's a win, win, win. And uh, what I would recommend doing, since Stampin' Up! is now running two celebration offers, in January you can get a six-month subscription, which will tie you over to the next celebration offering when you can renew and get another six months. Then you get the celebration for January and the new celebration for uh, Ju July and August. So that, I think, is the best way of doing it. So on this page here, you can see this is um, in our annual catalog, and this is where you've got the gold foil paper and our adhesive sheets are number one on page 162. And the Stitch So Sweetly dies. This is where that little rectangle comes from with the scallop. And this is a great set because it comes with a whole bunch of different shapes. You can see these are very different shapes. Even though they nest inside each other, they're very different shapes, but they're coordinating. So you can use them together or on their own. And then of course you've got all of these scallop rectangles. The one on your card is the second largest one. So you still have one that's even larger than that. And it's great because it does that stitching and the cutting all in one. And guess what? You can use it with the mini boss. Woohoo! You can of course use our well-written dies, which we also used. Where are they? Here they are. The well-written dies with the mini boss as well. 
So there's the products projects for you and the first products that we're using. Now, um, I hope you're you know, not waiting too long for me, maybe ready for me. Um, we're going to do our next project, which is this little cutie here from our snail mail suite. So this little guy is cut out of our designer series paper, as is the mushroom and the little hello. And then we're going to, on top of this paper here, you might be able to tell it has a little bit of sparkle on it. This is our shimmery white cardstock, which has a coating on it and works perfectly whenever we're using our water painters. This is a really good product to use it along with. We're going to tie a little double bow, put some designer series paper there, and I've already stitched this Bermuda Bay with a die set, which is so much fun. This one doesn't cut at all. It just does the stitching, so you can do it in square shapes. There's three different square shapes and three different rectangle shapes, but you don't have to use it just along with you know that. You could have a cute little square in there and not stitch it around the edge of the paper and then you could bring in like a floral element or something like that. I can't wait to show you where these are in the catalog because I have a feeling you didn't see them. They're kind of invisible. So let's grab our projects that look like this and we're going to get started. Let's see here. I'm going to just put one of these on you and then I'll put this up at the top here so that you guys can see what we're working with. All right, so we've got our amazing yellow cardstock base, and of course you always got to start with our bone folder. Now many people who've been crafting for a while even sometimes don't have a bone folder, but as soon as they get one, they realize how essential it is for making sure that our cards are folding flat in half. You're going to grab your Bermuda Bay ink. If you're using an old ink pad like this, then you can just open it up like this and smoosh it. But if you're using a new pad, you won't get the palette on the lid like how we used to have with the old ones. And that's actually a good thing because the new pads are such a tight case that it doesn't let the air in and then you don't have to re-ink it as much. So if you are using one of the new ones, what you'll want to do is just grab a block and your block will be clean, it won't be all messy. And then you can just stamp onto your block like this and you can use your block as a palette. Okay? So I hope that helps you, you know, with whatever you're using. Then I'm going to use my water painter. This is a new set of three. There are actually five about five dollars cheaper than the old ones used to be and you get three of them instead of two you also get a beautiful fan brush so I can guarantee that if you've been using your aqua painters then they probably don't have the most beautiful tip on them anymore because you've used them right they're kind of a consumable product like a, a paintbrush would be can you guys see that I squirted a little bit I dropped a little bit of water in there from the actual water painter and then just did my little swoosh on there. You can see it's quite subtle and it's going to work on drying. Um, you can't really do this technique with our new basic white. You couldn't do it with our whisper white or our very vanilla. And the reason for that is um, those papers are just pressed a, a little bit differently and they don't have the coating on them like this uh, shimmery white does. So the shimmery white or the um, watercolor, the Fluid 100 watercolor paper is what you would want to use for a technique. Any technique along with these water painters. You're going to not want to use it with our regular cardstock. You would want to use it with our specialty shimmery white, and I'll show you where it is, or also the, um, the Fluid 100, which is right next to it in the catalog. So you're going to just stick your little piece of designer series paper on here. I'm going to speed things up a little bit with a heat tool. And that just helps to dry it a little bit faster so that I can actually adhere things. If you don't have a heat tool, we could use a hair dryer, I guess, for this. A heat tool gets really, really hot for embossing. That's what we use it for is heat embossing. But um, you can also use it for this. So far, I've dug into three of my dimensional, 
papers that I've strewn around here. <laughs> so I've got one more to go. I keep grabbing different ones every time. It was a good thing that I set myself up for success, isn't it? <laughs> Some things, you know, just never change. Even if it's New Year, even if you're trying to be proactive, sometimes you're just always that same person who has lost the adhesive that's right in front of you. To make this little double bow, we are going to fold our piece of linen thread in half and we're going to very calmly, <laughs> sometimes you guys get flustered when you're making bows, you're going to very calmly make a bow and know that the first time that you make a bow, it always looks pretty fugly. So <laughs> you're going to massage it, you're going to work with it, you're going to hold the center and you're going to tighten it up and get it looking perfect before you stick it onto a glue dot. I like to use whatever I'm gluing down to pick up the glue dot and then you can just stick it right onto your project and then trim off the ends. Ta-da! Perfect bow! I sure hope that you have the perfect bow as well. Yeah, bone folder equals life changing. Yeah. Oh, and Gary from Spongebob. Yes, I was singing that song the other day. I don't know why I had that in my head. I really like this designer series paper though and the style of this. Again, this coordinates with our paper pumpkin that arrived today, this month's paper pumpkin. So I, I like that the snail here has just a circular back and then in, um, that's the same with the snails in this kit. They all have those circular backs. And then the one in our new kit that just arrived coordinates with it. Matchy matchy without it being, you know, exactly the same. So let's take a look at the size difference. Oh, look at this. I haven't even used it yet. So there's a the little snails. And then this one's in photopolymer. You can see he's a little bit smaller. Love it. So cute. All right, so I've got dimensionals on the back of everything, and you guys know I love dimensionals. Now I'm just going to start putting these pieces together. There we go. Put a little hello. Him here with the present. I like that this suite is all about giving. And um, if you're like me, then if your love language is to give, giving gifts, um, this pandemic has been a little bit challenging, right? But I feel so happy that I'm able to brighten people's days by giving them something that I've made. You know, a handmade card really does brighten a person's day. I'm finishing this off with these two little hearts, which I'm kind of putting on crooked. Use your take your pick tool for this. It'll save your buns. And there might be in red or in the white color there. So you can see. This little cutie. Oh, aren't they adorable? I just think that this card is pure happiness, isn't it? So I hope you have fun making that. Let me show you some of the products that I use. So I already showed you this awesome embossing die where it stitches, it kind of impresses in. There's also the dies that go along with the snailed it stamp set. And this one's really cool because it makes a tiny little envelope that you fold up. It'd be one inch by one inch and a half. It cuts out the snails and it even cuts out some different little mushrooms here as well as cutting out this bubble, which you can use to put whatever word in. This hello actually comes from the designer series paper, so that was really handy that it was already done. Our resin heart embellishments are a really cute and 3D product. And of course they come in the real red, but also they come in the white color. And anything white, including our twine here, we know we've got ultimate flexibility because we can use our stamp and blend alcohol markers, or um, we can even dye this, this thread, which comes in a two pack. You can see I've used all of the pink, but um, you can dye it in a little bath with the reinkers from our ink pads. Okay, in this designer series paper pack, oh my goodness, I've used so much of it already, but look at these cute patterns. 
and the, the back side just has stitching there. And then the other ones where the mushrooms came from look like this. And the patterns look like this. So you can just fussy cut out these patterns. The back side has these cute little hearts and then the stitched pieces there. So um, I hope that you like all these products and want to get your hands on them because they are from our brand new mini catalog. So um, let's go to the second tab here. This whole page basically is what I used. So using the snail mail twine combo pack, this one here is the blushing bride that I used. Some of you guys got the whisper white. We've got the resin hearts, whisper white and real red. We've got our designer series paper here as well. And you can see that cute little envelope that they've cut out right there. Isn't that adorable? It's got the stitching on it too. Now I'll show you those invisible stitch with whimsy dies. This is the one that give that nice stitched look. This is on page 72 and this is not in a bundle with anything else. It's just a product that you can get on its own. Again, three rectangles, three squares. And I want to point out too, on page 73, we've got some products that are continuing over from our last mini catalog, which was our, um, holiday one. From our annual catalog, we've got our specialty paper on page 153 and the shimmery white looks to be invisible as well but it's just under our eight and a half by eleven cardstock. The first one there, shimmery white, and then that one is going to give you that shimmery look but mostly I'll give you the coating so that it doesn't warp your paper and start to roll and destroy it. So whenever you're doing a technique like this, this is important to use. Um, we're also using, of course, our water painters, which are here. So 16, 25, and you get three of them. One of them being a beautiful fan tip. It's, it's a really fun one to use as well for some of your bigger watercolor backgrounds. Okay, there we go. I'll stack that up. I think you guys are done with this one. And we'll move on to your next project. All right, your next project here is kind of like a, a fun, I don't know, I fell in love with this. It's a, how do I want to say this? <laughs> it's kind of like a chalkboard look. So we've got two different options, always or love. We've got beautiful foils. We've got texture with sparkle on it. I've even put um, some little stamped hearts here that I did with our Whisper White craft ink. This is a different kind of ink. It's a craft ink. So it's a pigment ink and it stays on top of the paper and that allows us to stamp onto a dark kind of color. And then I've actually used the, the white chalk marker to color in those little hearts there. So that's just an extra thing that I've done. Um, and then we've got our vellum sheet here, which is adhered in the middle. It's very much adhered, but it's very textural with a lot of um, dimension. We've also got our new black dots. These are our matte black dots. And um, I'm going to show you a, a few different techniques with this chalk marker because I think it's a lot of fun. And I'm also going to show you these brand new blending brushes along with my silicone mat, using that um, to pick it up the color and using our frost white shimmer paint. So the, these are a couple of different um, products that you can use. Okay, so let me just put these up at the top here and then I'll show you how to make them. So you're going to get out your supplies. I've done a little bit of stamping here for myself just to show you another technique as well. So. Um, keep in mind that there are so many different ways that you can use these products and I'm so glad that you're welcoming me into your homes to showcase all the different things that you can do with your products. I'm going to grab some scrap paper here and my new blending brush. Now this I have to show you. I've pre-textured the paper. This is with a new 
embossing folder that we have. And this is our new blending brush. Can you see? It's not a sponge. It's actual bristles. There's like a million of them on this nice blending brush. I used this last night. I told everyone to wash it and then I did wash mine. <laughs> so I'll just be your guinea pig to, you know, see if it ruins it forever. But it, I've definitely washed it off before. I just did it while it was still kind of newly on there and uh, a little bit wet still. But we'll see if it comes off. I'm sure it comes off the next day too. I want to say with these blending brushes, you can actually, you know, leave the ink on them for quite a while and, uh, and it not be a problem. I left it on for a month. It was blue ink and I left it on for a month. And, and then, you know what? I found it just the other day and I rinsed it off and it, without using any solution, I actually was able to get it right off, have it rinse clean. So this is our shimmer paint. I'm using the silicone mat as a palette and blending a lot. If you're concerned about your application and you don't want to get a big splooch, then make sure you practice on your scrap paper. But I'll show you the difference that it makes. It just pops it out even more. Can you see that? So it kind of looks like you've used a palette knife to um, to add texture to the whole paper as well as adding the shimmer on there. Oh, you know what? Look at this. I pre-stamped this so that I would use this side. Okay, look at. We'll just quickly do this side instead. Okay. Here I am, like trying to help myself out with doing things, you know, in advance, and I use the wrong side of the paper. That seems kind of typical Kelly. Sometimes though I notice the next day when I've missed explaining something you know that I've left out for myself thinking oh I really remember to show them how to do you know whatever technique and then I'll remember the next day or the middle of the night right <laughs> does that happen to anyone else middle of the night you're like oh no <laughs> I forgot <laughs> I lost my mind so there we go this is with the shimmer paint on there, just kind of highlighting some of the texture that's already on the paper. And then I've got those little hearts stamped, ready to go. I love these blending brushes. They are going to be a staple in a lot of the techniques that we are going to be doing. So make sure you get some because we're gonna have some fun with it. Okay, um, the next thing that I wanna do is use my chalk marker, which is just like our pigment ink and it allows us to color on top of uh, darker colors of cardstock. So you could do stitched looks, that's really popular with these chalk markers, or you know, um, having it look like uh, you actually have like a chalkboard. If you're really good at lettering, of course you could do that. I really like it too, um, to sign cards that have a, a dark cardstock base. So you can see it has really added a lot to those little hearts to have them colored in. If I wanted to make them even more white and bright, I can do it a second time and then it will show up even more. Can you see that? Okay, I'm going to fold it so that I have these stamped images on the inside of my card. Again, bone folder. The bone folder was always the running joke, right? You always have people calling it something different. You guys can write it in the comments and be dirty in the comments, but I'm gonna remain pure in my essence, in my video, and uh, not say what people would call it. But I'm gonna just wait and see, because I have a feeling I know who's gonna say <laughs> what we used to call it in class. Okay, another way that you can use our chalk marker is on our designer series paper. So I'll maybe just show you the difference between the two of them here. So one of these designer series papers, come on, focus camera, there we go. One of these designer series paper has the white coloring already done on it, and one of them is ready to go. Of course, it looks beautiful just like that, but I'm trying to show you techniques. That's what I'm here for, right? Show you different techniques, how you can elevate your card game. I have got a little bit of white or black on the white from coloring on the black. So I'm just going to scribble off onto the paper to clean off the end. 
and I'm just going to color in the leaves and flowers. You can do this as fast as you want and you can even, like I said, go back and do a second coat if you want to and that will just make it even more bright. Again, showing versatility. Another way that you can use this product is with a stamped image and you can color that in. So on the inside of this card here, this is a Sahara sand background and you can see I've colored in the stamped images that I stamped with um, our memento ink pad. This is um, a banner that's pre-cut and also scored. So if you take a look, there's a couple little score lines on the back and you can fold this banner back so that it has a little bit of extra texture. Okay, let me show you here. So can you guys see that? How I folded it? Kind of folded it back on itself. And on the back side of that, I'm going to put some dimensionals. Well, where am I putting my dimensionals? Focus, Kelly, focus. Okay, I'm putting the dimensionals on the middle piece so that remains popped up. And I'm going to adhere that onto my card along with my vellum that I've cut into this beautiful shape. And the wonderful thing is when you cut out all these beautiful shapes, you also get a million hearts. So these hearts are going to be great for a project and you can see with vellum it's kind of see-through so we always want to be aware that, of where we're putting our adhesives. So that's why I'm going to use this little banner piece. I'm going to just lay this onto my card. Oh look at that, I've stamped my hearts a little bit too low and they're kind of covered. If I wanted that look I can of course you know just draw in other little hearts. There we go. Perfect. So I'm, I'm going to just take this off because I don't feel like it's completely held on, but now I've got the placement that I was looking for. And now I can come back with a little bit of extra stamp and seal on those edges and I can really glue it down exactly where I want it. This piece here as a two-part piece. One part is cut out with our white cardstock and one part is cut out with um, our foil. And that's from this die pack, which gives you always, so like the detail and the outline, and love, the detail and the outline. So again, anytime you're doing something with like a finicky um, application, you want to make sure to cut it with those adhesive sheets on the back and then it turns them into a sticker and you can just put this perfectly onto our love. I put dimensionals on the back side so I know I'm leaving you in the dust you guys. I am I'm aware of this but we're going to keep it moving so that you can come back here and revisit the video for whatever parts you need to see again. So we've got love, we've got our little hearts, we've got our vellum heart, and now the final finishing touch is to put on some of these matte dots, matte black dots. You're going to have three of them, two of one size and you know one of the other, so I'll put the big one up there. I have got two big ones and a little one, so I'm going to go big and then big and little down here at the bottom. And these ones in person really are fun. I think they're going to be a great addition to everyone's stamp collection. And the thing is, they really stand out on every color. I like them kind of as like a tone on tone for the black, but look at them on top of any other color, right? It's just going to be like a big statement of black. You could never color them with a Sharpie, color any of our embellishments with a Sharpie and get them to look that black. What do you guys think? You like this card? Ah, this was one of the favorites from last night and I hope you like it. Let me show you some of the products. So I already show you this, um, this die set. That actually goes along with a stamp set. And so the white piece there, that's the outline, you could also stamp the saying and then use the outline to cut it out. So this is a really versatile set. 
There's also dies to cut out these beautiful flowers and these little strips here will cut out the words. And what else can you do with this one? I don't know, there's a, the little leaves as well. And then some little flowers. And this one here is a really big die pack. Take a peek at this. This one has that beautiful heart, which of course cuts out the middle of the heart and then cuts out this beautiful spray that we did in the vellum. And then we've got some stamped images, which you can use as two-step stamping. So the outline and then stamping this in a different color, stamping the inside to color it in. And then of course we've got dies to cut that out. We've got some flowers, leaves, and then there's another sheet here. That's where this banner comes from. And then the little hearts, and then an even smaller border of hearts, which is just adorable. And if you like making shaker cards, how great that we can have your own confetti. A little heart-shaped confetti that you can make yourself. Whatever colors that you want. The embossing folder is really fun. This one is a thicker or the wider one, so it's going to have to be used with the big boss. But we do have some embossing folders that are about half size, and those ones are great for using with the baby boss. I wanted to show you. This is made by Carrie Peters, and she used that same embossing folder to get a really fun look on her card here. Can you see the shutters as well? This is a fun new die set and that die actually impresses in. So there's no different color going on. The different color that you're seeing there for the wood grain is actually, and even like the little, um, little brackets there, those are actually for um, the impression on the dies themselves. So a really fun and beautiful card that Carrie made there. All right, also, in this suite, we've got some designer series papers, and I've used two of them in the pack, um, or in the packages that I made. We've got two pink colors with the floral, but we also have the Sahara Sand, and if for color reference, that's the base color of this cardstock. And so you've got a really neutral one that you can use as well. Same colors are available in foil. So you've got the Blushing Bride, the, what what colors are these anyways? You guys know on the back of your designer series papers, they have now the coordinating colors on these tags. Did you guys know that? Blushing Bride, Rococo Rose, and Sahara Sand. That makes our life so easy. So these are the foils, and you can see me in reflection. Hello! Um, and those are the ones that I use for cutting out the love and the always. The adhesive sheets I mentioned before, they come 6 inches by 12 inches and you can really get a lot out of just one pack. If you have a die cutting machine or if you use a lot of punches, those ones are essentials. All you have to do is just stick it onto the back side of your cardstock or foil, design a series paper, whatever you're using, and then you can actually, you know, turn that into a sticker. These are the matte black dots. You get a ton of these in a pack. 160. Okay, I'm stalling for you guys, you know that? <laughs> I hope you're using this time to craft. Oh, I'm so happy that you like it. Thank you so much. I love hearing what you guys like because then, it know, then I know what to make more of, right? So these products are from our mini catalog. Page 11 is the Love You Always Suite. That's the one where we use the ribbon for the other card. But this is where you're going to find the um, foil sheets, the Love You Always foil sheets, and also the Love You Always specialty designer series paper, the matte black dots, and both of these stamp sets and um, die packs. So this is the one, remember, bundle and save 10%, always, always. Bundle and save 10% for this beautiful set as well. Then we've also got from the Fine Art Floral um, on page 33 is where you're going to find that painted texture 3D embossing folder. That's the one that's really versatile. We use it on our black cardstock there. And our blending brushes, of course, 
pack of three, 1625, and you can keep using those forever. Also, from our annual catalog, I used my Whisper White to get those little hearts on there. And what else did I use on here? Do, 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 do. I think that's it. And then from the same page here with all of our specialty papers, page 153, our vellum cardstock is what I cut out this beautiful heart in. Now you might have noticed that um, there was some news about Whisper White being discontinued. Now I don't want you to panic because the basic white is really similar so um, it's going to be a really good replacement for you. So that's already available so we don't have to stress about being without a white color for the next little while. We can get that immediately. I'm just going to put these to the side here. There we go. And I'm going to get started on our last card. This one's my favorite. Oh, I hope you guys like it. I was so excited when I finished making this card and I wanted to show it to everyone in my life. So here's our last card. Wishing you the very best. We've got our three little strawberries, which we're going to color with our water painters. And um, we've got, I put a saying here where I've embossed with white embossing powder onto black. So again, that kind of like chalkboardy sort of look. I wanted to show a different technique there. Um, on top of our strawberries, I should mention too, I've used our chalk marker in another way to add those little strawberry details. And you might notice there's some blending in the back here. There's some granny apple green that's kind of swirled around the back. And then we've got our beautiful dew drops here that go along with our berry patch paper. This is our designer series paper that's um, from that celebration set. Okay, so first of all, I'm gonna show you, this is the stamp set that you can purchase that is bundled along with our punch. The punch cuts out the shape of our strawberry, a leaf, a little flower, and then our strawberry stem. And it, of course, coordinates with the two-step stamping here. So stamping the outline and then stamping the color. But we're going to make our own color, of course, with this, the punched images that I have there. We've got lots of great sayings. I love the fonts. I love the mixture of the kind of cursive along with the texture, text version. So I would recommend purchasing this, which will help to get you closer to earning this one for free. So with a $120 order, you can get Berry Blessings for free. And this one is where you can see the wishing you the berry best. You got two-step stamping here for blueberries and raspberries, along with the stems, along with the blueberry stem here, and uh, the little raspberry um, leaves there as well. So this one is a great stamp set on its own, but the fact that it comes with this gorgeous paper just puts it over the top and this is my number one favorite celebration product. So can you guys see all the texture? It's all hand painted again. Oh, I should show the back. The back side is all like picnic ginghams. They look like the napkins and the beautiful um, tablecloths. This card I can almost taste, right? I love some, oh, and look at this. I just realized that I've matched the blueberries <laughs> with my shirt. That was planning, wasn't it? And the backside there, of course. Then you've got the raspberries and leaves on the backside there. The more raspberries and some more kind of raspberry pattern. This one here though, the back side of this is really fun. So we've got the cute painted strawberries, even some little blonde strawberries in there. And the back side, oh come on now, there's the back side. The back side of this perfectly works with our punch to punch out a, a strawberry shape and already have the little seeds on it. Isn't that great? We might do something like that next month, I don't know. I wanna play with this all the time as much as I can. It's my favorite. Okay, again, $120 purchase will give you those two items for free. So Granny Apple Green, I know if you have this in front of you, it's like a fantastic 
pop of color, it's a wake up call, and it's so happy and so wonderful. Now, what you're uh, going to want to make sure is that you don't lose these little drops, dew drops. You should have three of those, so just keep those in your little plastic envelope. Let's do a couple of things here. We'll, we'll start with this first. I'm going to bring this in here. Put my three strawberries and my three strawberry stems. And we're just going to paint these really, really fast. So I was just using this one for the blue, but I'm going to just kind of swoosh off a bit of that and then use it for the green. And I put the green back. There we go. There it is. I wish I got out a re-inker for this, but that's okay. I'll just put it on this block here. Okay, get a little bit extra there. And now I can pick this up and smoosh it on there. Now you might notice this paper is a little bit different. This is our watercolor, our Fluid 100 watercolor paper. If you're finding that you're getting some ink on your fingers, you can just use your take your pick tool to hold it in place so that you can put the ink on nicely. So Fluid 100 watercolor paper is similar to our shimmery white cardstock in the sense that you can use it with our water painters. I'm going to switch colors now. That's not the lid for that. There's the lid for that. I'm going to switch water painters and I'm going to switch colors here. If you wanted, you could just have some baby wipes handy and, and switch colors that way. But since I've got the two ready to go here, why not, right? I've got two different colors going on here. The lighter color is a Poppy Parade, which I'm going to do all over. And I'm just going to apply it quite quickly to get a nice wash of color. You're going to want to mix. This is kind of a perfect balance of water ratio. And be sure to squeeze a little bit. This watercolor paper can really absorb a lot. So you don't have to worry too much about it saturating the paper. Then we're going to come in again, and I've got some ink here from last night. It's the... Um, Cherry Cobbler. Oh, I'm going to put some reinker on there. I need a little bit more color saturation. There we go. So we've got some color there. And now I'm going to go back and kind of create a little bit of shadow. So if you can see here, I've got lightness happening on all three of these in one spot and then shadow on the other side. So keep that in mind as you're applying your color and make sure that you have a nice, oops, sorry guys, there we go, now you can actually see it. That helps when you're following instructions, hey? So when you get this going, you're going to have maybe a lot of watercolor, water going along with your color, and that's okay, that's not a problem. Like I said, this Fluid 100 paper can really handle it. Now, finishing up the third one, I actually didn't think I was going to be doing all three, but here, look at me go. They don't have to be perfect. That's what I like about this technique. You can have, you know, a nice watercolor look. And uh, you don't have to be a perfectionist about it. Now I'm going to set these to the side and just let them dry a little bit. And do some of the other parts. Okay, I'll put it over here. I always have to make sure that I'm moving these things away because I sabotage myself and I always get my hands in them. Okay. Yes, it is a very happy green color. I love this green color. Now, if you have the blending brushes, um, you'll want to do this technique here with the blending brushes. If you have a sponge dauber, you know, make do with it. That's okay too. Sponge dauber looks like this. It just goes right onto your finger and you can ink it up. What I don't like about these ones is sometimes you catch an edge and then it doesn't, um, 
it doesn't give you a nice application. Whereas these blending brushes really blend the color quite nicely and I find they're kind of foolproof. So if you're concerned, you can definitely just pounce it and then test it out on your paper, your scrap paper. But you're going to take your piece of Whisper White cardstock. This is, um, I had this cut before the new Basic White came in, but you're not going to notice a difference between the Basic White and the Whisper White. They're, they're very similar. And then you're going to just start swirling the color on. Now I like starting off, you know, with just a little bit of color and then you can really start building it up. And I'm putting my berries off to the side just a little bit. You can do them however you want. Oh, I love this technique. These blending brushes are just a game changer. They're my favorite. Be sure to order them sooner than later. They're already going on back order a little bit or um, I think low inventory actually. I have some in stock um, we can use to tie us over. Okay, so I've got the beautiful Granny Apple Green matchy matchy with my cardstock base. I'm going to close that up so that I don't sabotage myself even more. And I did my little tricky thing for you. So I've cut out a shape from our black layering cardstock. So we're going to cover that up. Nobody's going to know it's there. And I actually embossed with um, Whisper White embossing powder and Versamark, stamping, wishing you the very best onto there. Now, because I can't get this paper by itself either, you guys, I had to make sure that I had enough for everybody. So this is one way of maximizing your paper. <laughs> Just use a little strip. We're gonna stick it on with our stamp and seal, and then using dimensionals on the back side of our basic white or whisper white, whatever you've got, we're gonna stick that on to layer it up and make it look like there's a much larger piece of designer series paper, you know, coming out from underneath there. I'm going to put that on to our base here with some more stamp and seal. I just love stamp and seal. It's really easy to use and it doesn't even click or anything like our old snail used to. Okay, you might have, I'm just noticing here, I hope you don't have this at home, but you might, nobody's perfect. Um, my cutter sometimes has little frayed edges, but if you just run your fingernail up along them, they're not, there's just little pieces hanging off of it. They're not really frayed. I don't know what's going on there. So you'll notice that this is a little bit different here. Wishing you the very best. Um, I wanted to streamline this a little bit. So I'm actually going to use scissors or you can use what I'm going to use here, which is our cutter. And we're going to cut off the top and the bottom so that it's just left with this nice little curved end and making it a little bit smaller so that uh, we don't cover up our strawberries too much. I love using punches with my sayings. Then I know I can stamp and I don't have to worry about stamping straight or maybe stamping crooked and ruining my project, right? I hate that. So this to me is the best way of using sayings is to actually get um, a punch and then punch it out and then you know you're kind of working with something that's straight. Okay, I'm gonna heat this up a little bit here. There are two settings on our heat tool. The first one is a, an ink drying setting and the second one is an embossing setting. Oh boy, things are getting dry, I can tell, floating away. But I never use the heat or the ink drying setting because I go big or I go home. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so using our little bits then, I'm going to use dimensionals to put them together because I love dimensionals. So I put one on the bottom and then one kind of half off the top that's going to hold that little green part on. Am I leaving you guys in my dust or are you having fun stamping along with me and keeping up pretty well? I love it when you're commenting, I do know that. At the end of this video, I hope that you tell me what your favorite card is that we made. I always love to know that so that I can 
figure out what's popular and design that way. And look at the difference between the two. I, I like um, both of them. They're both great. One done with reinker, one done with just a little bit stamped, a little bit of ink stamped onto a block and picked up. This one's like soft and subtle. I just put these three little strawberries on like this. There we go. Put this to the side. These are a little bit wet still, but I think they're going to stay. You want to make sure that you blast them with your heat tool. And make sure that um, they're going to stick nicely onto your project. Now you can see the difference between these two strawberries. Though that little chalk marker adds quite a bit of texture, doesn't it? So I'm going to just come in and uh, I'm taking artistic reference from the stamp set which doesn't have the little seeds all over, they just kind of have it down the side a little bit. And some of these aren't going to be visible because our saying's going to cover it, but I'll know that they're there, right? This is so relaxing. <laughs> this is my favorite way to unwind. Now, wishing you the very best. I can put some dimensionals behind that. I love any opportunity for a pun is so much fun <laughs> and that's a cute one isn't it wishing you the very best now the final finishing touch and what I think adds so much in terms of the freshness of this card just makes me want to bite into these strawberries are these little dew drops these ones I wonder if you know where they're from we've used them before but this is technically not the application where they're how they're demonstrated in the catalog does anybody know i wonder can you write it down let's see if anyone can figure it out you're going to grab your fine tip glue pen you can do this with um, glue dots as well i find it easiest to use the fine tip glue pen this is a great product you just unscrew the white part make sure you're not unscrewing the black part and then inside there's a little pin which goes into this tube and make sure, whoops, I got a little splurge, that never happens. If it's going to happen, it always happens on live on the internet, right? A little bit came out there, that's what I'm doing, just cleaning this up a little bit. Honestly, that's never happened before. <laughs> so um, with this, you just make sure that the end is never clogged and then you do three little dots. To put this back together, I just use my finger to guide it in. There we go. And now I can use my take your pick tool. This is when the putty end really comes in handy. And I use it along with this other side. So I use the putty to pick up the top of the dot. And then I can use this part here to kind of separate it. So again, just kind of separating it there. And there's a third one. Perfect. I love this tool. I own four of these and <laughs> they're just like my dimensionals. Never where I want them in the right time. I'm always grabbing and, you know, and trying to find it. But <laughs> that's maybe just the crafter that I am. So I hope you guys like this card. This one was another one of the favorites from last night. So please tell me, what is your favorite? I'd love to know which kind of style you like the best. Now, um, I showed you a little bit. I didn't show you yet though, where these little dots come from. These are called the Flowers for Every Season Gems. Does that give you a hint on what where they're from? Can you guys see those? They come with the clear color and also with a green color. And they are from the mason jar suite. So these are the shakers that are designed to go into the mason jars. But you can also, of course, make them into little dewdrops onto your projects. So pretty, aren't they? And of course, you get like a gazillion in the package. That's the actual number, you guys. A gazillion. What do they say? Approximately 300. So you probably get 150 of the clear ones and 150 of the green ones. This is the punch that I used here. It's the story label punch. 
and I, I love showcasing um, things made with the dies, right? This card here is made with lots of intricate dies. We've got one, two, three, four different dies on this card, and it gives you a really beautiful look. But when you're first starting stamping, sometimes you don't have the die cutting machine. You don't even have the baby boss or the big boss. You don't have either of them. This card here is made exclusively with punches and um, just with different fun techniques that are really accessible to anyone. Um, I hope that you love this card and, um, and feel like, you know, you can recreate something like this on your own, whether it being the watercoloring with the watercolor paper, whether it being, you know, swirling with your blending brushes, whether it's, you know, having just a sneak peek of that designer series paper, or maybe you're embossing on with white onto black or another dark color, maybe just even using these little um, gems. Maybe that has just inspired you to make all kinds of different projects. Let's show you where you can get these products from. All right, so of course, the feature of this is our Berry Blessing stamp set and the design and series paper from our celebration catalog, free with a $120 purchase. The other suite that of course coordinates with it, or I shouldn't say suite, it's a bundle, is the bundle from our mini catalog on page 44, Sweet Strawberry and the Strawberry Builder Punch. And you can see, you can do all kinds of fun stuff. They've done like a 3D strawberry there. Can you see that? So cutting these and folding them in half and then gluing them together. What a cute idea. Again, you've got more sayings there and lots of pun opportunities. <laughs> From our annual catalog, we've got our embossing. So I didn't show you this part, but it was using our heat tool again. Um, and I stamped with Versamark onto the black cardstock, sprinkled the white embossing powder over the top, use the heat tool to set it, and that's what gives you that fun um, kind of shiny look. Can you see? I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, I think you can. So that's a really fun technique. That's probably my favorite wow technique that I always go to. We've of course got our new blender brushes, which I didn't show you, but those are in the mini catalog. And what else did I use on this one? Um, the fine tip glue pen. On this card here, man, I... Oh yes, okay, I wanted to show you the Fluid 100 watercolor paper. You guys can tell, like, my brain is shutting down. <laughs> On page 158, we've got our Flowers for Every Season gems, and we just use the clear ones to create our dew drops. And then we've got our Story Label Punch, which we modified to be this fun kind of elongated oval. Alrighty, how about that? What's your favorite? How do you decide? I don't know. Let's see here. Let's bring them all in. And where's our bears? Honestly, it's like chaos. When the smoke clears, <laughs> there's no smoke, but you know, when the dust settles and we're all finished here, I always have my floor covered in all kinds of dimensional backers and everything, but that's how you can tell you've had a fun time stamping, right? What do you guys think? Which one's the best? Ooh, 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 ooh. Which one do you like? I hope that you had fun stamping. And do I have anything else that I need to share with you? Oh, maybe I'll just show you quickly. I'm gonna do a video, probably tomorrow, hopefully. And I'm going to showcase how I made my swap card. This is also featuring that berry sweet. Um, sweet as in like sweet of products, <laughs> not sweet as in like sugar. But these ones here, I've used our ombre paper and I've made it shimmery and shiny. Can you guys see there's some sparkle on that paper? I'll show you how to do that tomorrow. And um, I've also made our berries all dewy and juicy looking. So if you're a part of my card club swap from last round, you've got some of these cards coming to you. I'm behind the eight ball 
it's okay. I, I know I'll get it to you eventually. It always gets crazy around Christmas, but um, join me tomorrow. I don't know what time it's going to be. Maybe I'll give you an hour notice. It might be during the day. It might be in the evening. I don't know, but I'll just give you a quick run through. That's going to be about maybe like a 15 minute sort of video. So if you want to join me live tomorrow, I'll show you how to make these cards too. All right. I'm going to put you, oops, back to my face. Ah, thank you so much for stamping with me. Honestly, it warms my heart to think that more people than ever before are actually able to join me via this wonderful internet. So thank you again. I am just blessed and um, so rewarded by these experiences. It really fills me up, even though I'm just by myself talking in my stamping studio. I really do feel like you're there and I always look at the comments afterwards. So thank you so much for commenting. Thanks for sending those likes and loves. Thanks for um, telling me what your favorite card is and thanks for stamping with me. I hope you have a wonderful evening or day or whatever you're having and I hope to stamp with you again very soon. Thanks, bye guys.